Hi there everyone! This is my go-to Bakewell cake recipe. It's a classic light and fluffy sponge, flavoured with almonds, a delicious cherry filling, topped with sponge and covered in flaked almonds. It's a favourite of mine and I'm going to share my recipe with you. Welcome back to Scrummy. I'm Katrina and I love to make simple and easy to follow recipes. This recipe is delicious and you're going to love it. Ok everyone, time to start baking. We're going to start with the sponge mixture. The great thing about this recipe is that it's very easy to make. Put all the ingredients for the cake in a bowl, mix for about one minute and it's ready. Here I have all purpose flour, baking powder and sugar. Give it a good mix just to make sure the baking powder is mixed in. Now let's add the other ingredients. Ground almonds, eggs, I like to add milk as the mixture can be very thick. Add vanilla extract and if you want a more almondy flavour add a teaspoon of almond extract. It's your own personal choice how you like your Bakewell cake. The last ingredient is butter. You can also use margarine, just make sure it's nice and soft. You can use a stand mixer or a hand mixer and mix until everything is mixed in. The mixture becomes thick but the milk I added helps it. Make sure to use whole milk because less fatty milk can cause the mix to split. Using a spatula scrape down the sides of the bowl and give the mixture a quick stir to make sure you have mixed in all the flour. We have a lovely soft cake mixture. That's it, all done and so easy to make. Now place half the mixture on the bottom of the cake tin. I'm using an 8 inch 20 cm spring form cake tin which I've lined with parchment paper. Press the mixture down with the back of a spoon and spread it out over the bottom of the tin until it's completely covered. If you've never made a Bakewell cake before, why not try it? As you can see it's so easy to make. For the filling use whatever fruit you want. I went for a cherry pie filling but you could also use blueberries, blackberries or raspberries which is a classic with Bakewell. If you wish you could also use frozen fruit but it'll take longer to bake due to the extra moisture. Spoon the remaining mixture on top. I find it easier to place spoonfuls of the mixture in random places as it makes it easier to spread it out. Make sure to cover the fruit with the mixture as you don't want the fruit coming through when you bake it. And all that's left to do is to sprinkle some flaked almonds on top. Sprinkle them all over the cake. These are what give the bake will that distinctive look. Bake in a preheated oven, 180 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 50 to 60 minutes. Time to decorate the bake well. When baked, remove from the oven and allow it to cool for about half an hour. Take it out of the tin and remove the parchment paper before transferring to a serving plate. This smells delicious and looks so good. You can even see the layer of cherry in the centre. The final touch is to sprinkle icing sugar over the top. This makes it look so nice. This cake will last for about 3-4 to four days at room temperature. Cut a slice and enjoy with whatever you fancy, cream, custard or ice cream. You'll find my recipe in the description box below with cups, grams and ounce measurements, so there's no excuses for not making it. I have lots of other lovely cakes and desserts videos on my channel, why not check them out. This cake is delicious and I really hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching my video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you get a chance, don't forget to subscribe. Happy baking everyone! Mm.